Mike Dolce. Mike Dolce. Mike Dolce. Mike Dolce. Mike Dolce, my friend. And Dolce really changed MMA in this regard. You know, when he was coming through, like I said, we were teammates. We met every day at 3 o'clock, and we were working hard. Dolce, though, he had secrets. Dolce actually came along and changed all this. He said, you don't need to do any of that. When Dolce came in, he just had a very small group. Guys like me that were his teammates that kind of had an end to him. And then that group grew. But everything that we do to cut weight in the world of cut, all of it came specifically for Mike Dolce. What I love about Mike Dolce diet is just the flavor, just the pleasure of eating. It's not a diet that you suffer, you, you're always in a bad mood, he's always in a good mood. Mike Dolce was the guy that we had to have. He's a guy who we respect, we believe in, and we know he can get results. He's not some guy that we just hired, some fitness model guy to come in and you know perform this workout. This guy's the real deal. He's fought, he's helped people cut weight, he's trained people, and he's a guy who was overweight himself and has transformed his body and changed his life. Fitness guru to the stars, Mike Dolce, my friend. Hey, what's up, brother? Good to see you, brother. Likewise. Thanks for coming back here. Cheers to you. Thanks, Joe. Mm. Thanks for coming on, man. I got a lot of questions. Got a lot of questions. Whoa! What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show podcast on video. Today, we're talking about over 40 fat loss, right? Over 40 fat loss. Good to see everybody, and we're going to get straight into it. I'm going to give you three tips how you can lose fat at any age, but more specifically over 40 because I'm 47 years old right now, and I am probably in the absolute best shape of my life, and I want to share that with you guys. If you are under 40, this is going to be evergreen content. If you are a male or female, this is evergreen content. This is for everybody. So are you ready to get in the best shape of your life? I think you are. Let's go. Now I'm going to answer your questions towards the end of this live stream. So just hang out with me for a few minutes here. Number one is the most important issue is stop getting in your own way. If you want to lose weight, you have to get out of your own way. You are your biggest problem. What do I mean by that? Well, you don't go to bed early enough and you wake up too late, right? You sit on the couch for four to six hours, doom scrolling television while force feeding yourself hyper palatable processed food and alcohol. So tip number one, step number one, get out of your own way. And I'm going to challenge you right now. No alcoholic beverages. Oh, but Dolce, but Dolce, no alcoholic beverages. Stop drinking alcohol. Alcohol makes you fat. Alcohol makes you fat. Alcohol inhibits fat loss. If you are drinking alcohol, you will always be fat and you will get fatter year over year over year over year. It will never stop. In perpetuity, it will never stop. You have to stop with the alcohol. And when you drink alcohol, you make bad decisions. When you drink alcohol, you, eas you usually eat more Hyper palatable, highly processed foods. Am I right? Shake your head, nod your head. Yes, I'm right. You know that. So, tip number one is get out of your own way. Stop poisoning, stop polluting your body, stop destroying your body, stop making it harder for your body to do what you want it to do, which is lose fat, get lean, increase energy, increase muscle mass, improve body composition, shape, tone, sculpting. Get some fucking nasty ass biceps popping out of your sleeves. Lady, get a big fat round ass and a nice tight midsection, right? That's what we want. That's what you want. You're getting in your own darn way, and we want to fix this. Tip number two. Tip number two is you have to meal prep. Now, I know many of you right now are like, oh, man, don't you? I thought you were going to give me some sort of um, a bull testicle pill. You're going to give me some pills, some powder, some potion, some secret sprinkle juice quick fix to make me all of a sudden healthy. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You actually have to do a little bit of the work. You have to take responsibility for yourself. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to say, well, how's it working for you? How's it working for you? 
It's not working too well for you, right? The whole thing you got going on is not working too well for you. So let's fix that. I'm going to answer these questions. I see a lot of questions popping up. Keep throwing your questions into the chat, and I'm going to answer those as soon as I'm done here. So tip number one, get out of your own way. Stop poisoning. Stop polluting. Stop punishing your body. Cut out the alcohol for good, and I'm going to challenge you back to tip number one. For the next 30 days, no alcohol. No alcohol, not a drop, not a sip of alcohol for the next 30 days. And if you say, oh, Mike, but that's not a big deal. It's not a big deal to me. I can have a drink here and there. I say, sure you can. Don't have a drink of alcohol for the next 30 days. And if you say that you can't or if you find that you can't, you're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic, which means you definitely should not have a drink ever again. Think about that. Tip number two. You have to start meal prepping. You have to stop the grab-and-go bullshit eating pattern. You have to stop leaving your house hungry and thinking somehow magically along the way the perfect meal is just going to end up in your hands. It's not going to happen. It hasn't happened yet. In the 40 years of your life or more, it hasn't happened yet. So why is today, tomorrow, the next day going to somehow be different? If you are not adequately fueling and feeding yourself inside your home, you are definitely not going to fuel and feed yourself adequately outside of your home. Therefore, you have to make a change. You have to change your habits and change your expectations. You must start planning your meals in advance. You must start preparing those meals, and you must start bringing those meals with you. That's the way it works. That's what I do. That's what all the fit, healthy people do. All the Hollywood actors and actresses, ow, it must be nice. If, they, if I had all that money, I'd look like you. No, you wouldn't because it doesn't cost a lot of money to grill up a little bit of ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey. Throw a few chicken breasts or, or, or salmon fillets into the oven. Boil up a little bit of rice or quinoa or bake some potatoes. It doesn't take any additional income to do that, put it in a little Tupperware, throw it in your backpack, throw it in your luggage, throw it in your car next to you. It takes no more money. In fact, it takes less money to eat well. Because once you eat outside the home, you are overpaying usually by a factor of 10. A $2 home cooked meal costs you $20 outside the house. So it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of personal accountability. Fit and healthy people plan their meals in advance, they prepare their meals, and they have their meals readily available when they're supposed to eat. And we eat them on time. All right? So rule number one, get out of your own way. Stop poisoning yourself. Stop polluting yourself. Stop punishing yourself. So your body can actually start doing what you want it to do, right? Which is Get leaner, get healthier, increase energy, live longer, God forbid. Number two is we have to start meal prepping. You have to have your meals readily available. Otherwise, you won't have the meals you need to eat, and they do not magically appear in your hand. You, this is, I just want to share, that so many people, so many people I work with, I do consultations and coaching calls with, when I say this, they're like, oh, oh, really? I don't like to cook. Well, I hope you like being fat and sick because that's the alternative. You're not going to go and get healthy meals out there in the world. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> right? No, it's insanity to think otherwise. You have to accept this reality. Now, rule number three is, is the easiest one to do in a way is you need to become physically active. Most people are not physically active, believe it or not. They moan and groan and complain about performing 30 minutes of low-intensity cardio per day. Like, they don't have enough time to do that. And I say, let me see your phone. And they're like, what do you mean? Give me your phone. You spent three hours and 45 minutes on Instagram today. Check the settings on your phone. Check activity on your phone. And tell me how much time you spend on your stupid phone doing stupid things. Tons and tons and tons of time. More time than you even realize. And it's really good for you to go back and check that. So, 
Rule number three is you have to become physically active consistently. We start with a 30 minute fasted walk first thing in the morning. We call this list, low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity. And we want to do this while fasted, with, which means not having eaten anything prior to. You can drink water. You definitely should be drinking water. You should drink coffee, dolcecoffeeroasters.com if you need organic specialty craft roasted coffee delivered to your door. Click the link below this video. We are offering a pretty cool deal at dolcecoffeeroasters.com, but I digress. Water, a little bit of caffeine, put your little shoesies on, walk out the door 30 minutes. 15 minutes one direction, turn around, come home. Day done. Tomorrow, go 16 minutes in one direction, turn around, come home. Day three, 17 minutes in one direction, turn around, come home. Day four, and so on and so on, until you're walking for about 45 minutes each morning. You will be shocked at how rapidly your body transforms. Once you get this down as a consistent daily habit, a minimum of five days per week, seven days per week is ideal, 365 days per year is ideal, but I'll settle for five days a week minimum to start. Once we make this a consistent habit for 30 days, then I'll say, hey, you know what? Somewhere later on in the afternoon, go for another 30-minute walk or do a little bit of exercise. Get your heart rate up just a little bit more. Go ride a bike, go play tennis, go swing a kettlebell, go to a cardio kickboxing class. Start as a white belt in a jiu-jitsu um, um, school just a little bit more. Within 90 days, you will have dramatically transformed your physique. It will be jaw-dropping, shocking. Everyone will be like, oh, my God, look at you. You look absolutely incredible. Number one is get out of your own way. Number two is you need to meal prep. Number three is you need to dedicate 30 to 60 minutes per day of consistent exercise. Do that for the next 30 days. Can you do that with me for the next 30 days, please? For 30 days, start going to bed on time and waking up on time, right? Stop punishing yourself. Stop poisoning yourself with hyper palatable, highly processed foods. Stop polluting your body with alcohol and recreational drugs. Can you just do that for 30 days? Can you, number two, can you start planning your meals in advance, preparing those meals one, two, three days per week so they're with you when you need to eat them and you're eating them on time? The four by four, four meals, four hours apart, eight, 12, four, and eight, perfect. Happy with that. Six, 10, two, and six, perfect. Happy with that. Can you just do that? And number three, can you simply move your body consistently? every single day for the next 30 days for 30 and eventually 60 minutes. Can you just do that? If you can do that, you're going to be in the top 10% of all humans with a, a regard to health and body composition in a very short period of time. Now, let me jump in and answer your questions. Good morning, Bobby C. Nice to meet you. Boo, let's do this. D, nice. Good to see you, my man. Matt, what's up, Matt? Good morning, Matt. Over 40 years old here. Let's get those love handles out of here. Jose, amen, brother. We are on the track. And if you need extra help, check out our three weeks to shredded program. If you want an exact meal plan, an exact workout program, an exact fluid intake, grocery list, accountability, training journals, go to the Dolce Diet.com. There is a link below that. And I'm going to give you a 20% discount with promo code podcast. Check that out, Dave. Boy, what's up, robot? Jesse Lee in the house. Good to see you, my man. Right on, right on. Um, Dana just did a water fest. I saw that. Hopefully the audio is working well. Let me check. Hopefully, there we go. All right. Dude, there we go. Here comes the truth. Bring it. You know it. 
I'm in seeing some comments on the support staff. Let me help. I'd love to work for you. Uh, Jesse, man, send, send us an email, brother. I think you have before. Um, yeah, let just if you're, can, if you're comfortable with like Zendesk, we use Zendesk as our customer service uh, management system. Uh, let, man, let us know. Is DHA program safe? Would you recommend it to anyone? It, well, it is safe if you need it. I take DHA and pregnenolone. Brandy takes DHA and pregnenolone, but that is due to blood work, and we get our blood work done through Merrick Health. So if you need help with that, send me a, send Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby at thedolcediet.com. Send Gabby a message and we will get you set up with that. I had blood test in the first four years, one year ago, my professional boxer, 140 yesterday, it was 170. Total cholesterol, 230, raised 36 more than, um, all right. I, I don't see a question there, brother. How can I help you? Top heart healthy foods, whole foods, earth grow nutrients, real foods. All right, audio is fine. Good, good. Maybe it was just in the very beginning. Not sure. I'm right, happy to hear audio is fine. Um, so heart healthy foods, wild caught salmon is top of my list. I love quinoa. I love blueberries. Lean cuts of beef is fine. We, we go to use certified Piedmontese. And if anybody's interested, Piedmontese, P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T-E-S-E, PiedmontTees.com, promo code Dolce, you'll save 25% and get free delivery. I don't get a cut of that. There is no kickback for me to give that to you. They sponsor the podcast. They sponsor a few things. Awesome. Love it. Whether or not you buy from them, I don't get paid any extra. That is strictly all 100% given to you. We get our beef from certified Piedmontees. I get their extra lean sirloins. I get the six ounce cuts. Absolutely incredible. We get their 97% lean ground beef. Those are the primary beef items we eat in our house. And we usually eat that twice per week. We eat wild caught salmon two to three times per week. We eat chicken more than that. We, you know, grilled uh, white chicken breast. You know, I'll have that once during the day, usually later on at night. We have a pretty good variety. We eat turkey. We eat chicken. We eat certified Piedmontese beef. We eat wild caught salmon. And I go fishing here, so I get a lot of wild um, a mine caught fish you know, just right out of the Atlantic Ocean. One week into three weeks to shred it down seven pounds and an inch and a half off my waist and feeling great. Wondering if the program auto repeats would like to start living lean program when done. Yeah, Thomas, it ab absolutely does. So you are now Inside the system, you have the ability to continue on into the what we call the, the monthly retention program. So for a nominal fee, you'll get a little charge on your card at the end of the month, and you'll be able to perform any of the programs we have thereafter. You want to do Living Lean? No problem. You want to do three weeks of shredding again? No problem. When we were uploading the Shred Dad program, will be in there soon. The Squats and State will be in there uh, soon. Our 4x4 four four will be in there soon. So our... our uh, our, 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 our battle born program will be in there soon. We have a lot of programs that will be in there soon. All at no additional cost for you. You can reset them at any time with your brand new starting point, brand new goals. Happy to hear seven pounds down. Thomas is down seven pounds in seven days on three weeks to shredded, which is designed to lose 21 pounds in 21 days. And you guys can go click the link below, start your own three weeks to shredded program. Look at that thing. Come on, the bicep of truth, ladies and gentlemen, never lie. But you can go to three to the dolcediet.com, start your own three weeks to shredded program. Why not lose 21 pounds in the next 21 days, just like Thomas is on track to? Piedmontese order. Oh, I love, I love Piedmontese Day. It's like my girls get so happy. We get those big, beautiful boxes delivered to our house. Brandy's like, oh yeah, she's so excited. Like I get the deep freezer all set up. It is awesome. Um, go to breakfast is usually the breakfast bowl, right? It, it's, it's for me, it's a half cup of whole oats, it's two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, two tablespoons of flax seeds. It is a lot of cinnamon. I'm just really into this cinnamon lately. It's usually one full cup of a mixed berry, depending on the time of year. Summertime, it's more fresh berries. Wintertime, it's more flash frozen berries. Um, sometimes I'll do an almond butter or a peanut butter. Sometimes I don't, depending all on the things I'm trying to do. But the breakfast bowl is always the go-to. We have another one we call a power 
put in that members of the Shred Dad program are getting access to. The power pudding is awesome. If you want to know about the power pudding, you got to be inside the Shred Dad program. You want to learn more about Shred Dad, send Gabby an email, G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby at thedolcediet.com, and I'll, I'll, we'll let you into the Shred Dad play. Shred Dad gets a lot more direct access to me, a lot more personal coaching and things like that. Um, Hang says, thanks. I was wondering if you're healthy. I'm healthy, and I get used to your three weeks to shredded program. Beautiful. Uh, Hang, I, I love it. You're going to love the three weeks to shredded program if you're not already following it. I mean, that's what all these athletes followed. They all followed three weeks to shredded, right? And look at them. Look at those physiques. Look at the titles. You got it, my man. What supplements do you currently take and what did yesterday's full of eating drinking look like? Well, that's a whole podcast by itself. Well, we primarily use Thorn Research supplements, and we have a link to we have our own dispensary inside Thorn, and where you will get a 25% discount, which is less expensive than if you went to Amazon. So if you, you're interested in getting that Dolce discount through Thorn, you have to get a special link from us. Send Gabby an email, G-A-B-B-Y at thedolcediet.com. Gabby will hook you up. Um, what do I take? I take creatine. I take glutamine. I take ubiquinol. I take a methylated B-complex. I take red rice yeast. I take zinc. I take vitamin D3 plus K2. I take taurine. I take berberine. So all I, I might take one or two other little ones, the Dolce Whey, of course, which I will add that as a supplement. Um, maybe I'll take another, a couple, one or two. I'll take turmeric or, or turmeric or curcumin, depending on the, the training intensity, how high, how hard I'm training, just to help with a little bit of the inflammation. Um, probably one or two others that I might remember. Is dark meat um, good? Also, just white meat. I prefer white meat to the dark meat. I'm um, same with eggs. Uh, usually, so what I'm doing with my eggs, I'm doing one whole egg and 10 egg whites, uh, which turns out to be close to, it's about 36 grams of protein in that meal. I usually do around 40 or so grams of protein spread over uh, five meals per day. I do about 40 grams of protein spread over five meals. And I'm taking in about 200 grams of protein per day. Do you ever do zone two cardio or mainly just zone one, zone four, zone five? Josh, it's all the same, man. Like that whole like zone two, zone three, it's all the same. Like if you're doing zone three, you've already went through zone one, zone two to get to zone three, right? Right. If you're getting to zone five, well, you have to bridge your way up into zone five through zones one through four. So we do try and spend time specifically in certain zones. But here's what I like to say. You should walk. More often than you jog, you should jog more often than you run. You should sprint. No, you should walk more often than you jog. You should jog more often than you run. You should run more often than you sprint. You should sprint more often than you sprint from a tiger, but you should do all five things at some point in your training week. That's the way we want to look at it. And if you do that, you're awesome. Memory serves in one of your workout plans. You have reps up to 50. Yeah, I was just wondering why you recommend some exercise in higher rep range, um, i.e. 20 reps in a set. Um, multiple reasons, multifactorial. Number one is to work on energy substrate utilization to teach your body how to remove the byproduct of muscular contraction and to work on the infrastructure. Patrick, this is a great question, by the way. A lot of times people fail, not because they don't have the contractile ability of the muscle fiber and not because there's inhibition of the nervous system to excite the fibers to contract, simply because they haven't laid the highways of the infrastructure, right? And what does this mean? This means you have a package sitting in the Amazon warehouse, okay? You have the truck to actually drive that package through the city to your house, but the road 
Owen goes 100 yards from the warehouse. The road doesn't actually go from the warehouse to your home in an efficient, unclogged manner. So what we're doing in many ways, we're focused on improving the infrastructure of athletic expression. And a lot of this comes down to energy substrate utilization, the ability of the body to use the right energy, right form of energy for that type of contraction, but also the ability to oxygen, oxygenate the blood supply during those contractions and also in between allowing for ample recovery, okay? So another part of this is many times people, they train in a specific 8 to 12 rep range and all they do is 8 to 12 rep range. And what happens when you're stuck at that, let's say a 60 to 80% of your one rep max, you really start to focus on one type of muscle fiber which is usually more dominant in the primary movers, anterior deltoid, let's say, uh, or the, the, the rhomboid, or, or the mid-trap, let's say. So all of a sudden, the smaller supported and necessary muscles don't get trained properly. All of a sudden, you get a lot of imbalances. Tech minor doesn't really get... A, get trained effectively. Supraspinatus doesn't get trained effectively. So then you have a weakened supporting muscle group that is being overpowered by the stronger muscle group, which in turn leads to weakness, your downstream weakness, and most likely eventual injury. So what we try and do, we try and use these high, and these are phases, we try and use these high rep phases to reteach our clients to perform these type of, of you know, biomechanically correct movements at a much higher energy threshold, thereby improving energy substrate utilization, to overuse that term on purpose, to focus on the oxygenation of blood supply and to allow for greater fatigue in the primary movers, which then forces the ancillary movers greater supportive activation. So now we really have a complete overall unit performing these exercises, so then when we do increase load, because we do increase load, right? We'll train, typically, we like to train anywhere between 30% and 90% as our training loads, all right? And it, we're, we're always focused on force production and velocity and, and, you know, kind of all these, a bunch of other, you know, training concepts. But big picture, and also I should say, from the aspect of, of athletic expression, high endurance under progressive load is dramatically successful for hypertrophy. And hypertrophy is directly correlated with health span and lifespan. So the more usable functional muscle tissue we can add to any organism, the lower their rate of mortality will be long-term, and the higher their athletic expression will be short and long-term. And last is, at lower total training loads, the risk of injury is much lower. So the rate of, per, of, of fatigue is equal, because we'll be training to failure, relative failure, whether it's 6 reps, 12 reps, 24 reps, or 50 reps. We're failing, so the rate of fatigue is going to be similar, but the risk of injury is much reduced. Now, especially if it's like, especially if it's more for our our global programs, large large community programs, we like to bias towards injury prevention. Then let's fucking go ham, go hard. 
Let's go. 93% one RM. Let's load that barbell up, baby. Let's put, let's get after it. We'll do more of that in kind of the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And that will come, Pat, after I've seen some video, you have a coach on hand. I want to make sure we're not seeing any sort of, of you know, adduction, abduction, um, instability. Uh, we're really making sure like the, the, the feet and ankles aren't caving it on the squat, let's say. So you can get away with some of those technical flaws on a 50 rep set that you cannot get away with on a 12, 8, 6 or less rep set without the incidence of severe injury being higher. So great question. And thank you for giving me the ability to answer it in much greater context. So those 50 rep sets, I said in the beginning, multifactorial purpose. Well, when in doubt, high rep. Like when I travel, I don't do anything under 20 reps when I travel. Of course, I'm on planes. I'm breathing weird air. I'm in a hotel room. I'm in a bed that my spine might not kind of be happy with. 20 rep sets. Um, ben, what's up, Ben? I appreciate it, man. Kind of you. Kyle, I'm loving squats and steak. Two weeks in after two back-to-back -back programs of Shred Day, would recommend squats and steak to anyone. Really good meal plans. Kyle, I appreciate that. Kyle is following our squats and steak program right now. If you want to add 10 pounds of lean muscle tissue and 100 pounds, legitimate 100 pounds to your back squat, in the next 12 weeks, the Squats and Steak program is for you. If you are interested, send Gabby an email, and Gabby will let you know when the next opening to join the Squats and Steak program becomes available. It's coming soon. Is Jello good for knees, joints, ass, all BS? I would just take a collagen protein, but even then, it's there's not enough clinical data to support collagen supplementation really has a carryover to soft tissue it, it may have a little bit to skin health that's what we're seeing right now but it's still a little gray i mean jello i'm saying no just take the collagen protein uh, Pat said, i agree with all said an easy way to think about it is what muscles promote posture as opposed to those that are prime mover as you stated posture muscle fibers types respond to high reps exactly and Pat, when we're saying these 50 rep sets, I'm always, think, I'm always thinking infrastructure. Everyone wants to look on the outside, the biceps, and ooh, the pecs. Yeah, I, I used to think like that when I was in my 20s or whatever. And as I got a little older, I got more sore, and I got more injuries, I became uniquely aware of the infrastructure. The infrastructure, that's all I care. At this stage of life, 47 years old, I care about my infrastructure. I spend more time in my, my warm-ups and my prehab than I do in the meat of my intensity, of my training. Like my prehab, I, I love all my prehab work and prehab so I don't have to do rehab, right? All of my warm-ups, all of my cool-downs, I spend way more training time during my week on that, and I probably only spend 15 to 45 minutes a few times a week with the high-intensity stuff, that, that, the sexy stuff, right? You know, most I'm spending so much time kind of working on, on, on scapular retraction and, and, you know, kind of getting my, my cervical spine in place and just like lots of like banded pull aparts and like doing like all of the, the just the hip hinges and all those things. I spend so much time doing that, but that allows that 15 to 45 minutes of high intensity work to be so much more productive. Coach, what about fast twitch? I'm afraid to do higher reps than 10 because I can't. I want to keep the fast twitch. Bro, you should come train with me. No, no disrespect, but I would probably fast twitch you out of the gym. Right? Think about that. I'm not, it's not a matter of exclusivity. It's a matter of we train all muscle fiber types and all energy systems. We have zero weak links. I can get with 500 pounds out of bed 365 days out of the year, which is two and a half times body weight for me. Give me a, a three to six week training program and I'll deadlift 600 pounds. I, I don't want to. I have no desire to ever do that again. I've deadlifted over 600 pounds on hundreds of times. 
in my 30 plus year career lifting weights. Probably didn't, I don't think I, I got into the sixes until I was in my early 20s. I started deadlifting. Off. But I've been deadlifting over 600 pounds for over 20 years. I've deadlifted 735 at my max, right? Wearing just a pair of, of deadlifting briefs, right? And that was weighing, you know, I think I was probably weighing like 258 pounds, give or take, in that period of time. I was quite big. But still, no desire to do that crap again. Who it is? I still have all the ability, all the access to all that fast switch musculature. Plus, I have the added ability of all of the supportive muscle groups. And I have the ability of the access to all of the different energy substrates. That's what I want for you. You will be a better, stronger, more explosive athlete if you allow yourself time to train all of the different forms of athletic expression. Um, I like high reps for arms and back, but for squats and bench and deads, I like no more than 8 to 12. Listen, I guarantee, I guarantee you, Rainbow the Gut, I guarantee you, if you take your leg, your, for the next six weeks, do no less than 20 reps on every lower body exercise. Every squat you do, I want you doing 20 reps or more. Every leg press, 20 reps or more. Every hack squat, 20 reps or more. Every leg extension, 20 reps or more. Every leg curl, 20 reps or more. Every RDL, 20 reps or more. Every GHD, 20 reps or more. Watch what different, what happens to your body. A specifically your legs. Now, there's more than enough EMG data to show that high rep High intensity training is more successful in growing the lower body. And there's a lot of debate. I think Andy Galpin can answer that better than I can of why specifically. But high repetition. And I would say you probably want to train those biceps and triceps lower. I think you have it flipped. You want to, you want to flip that a little bit. Watch how different things go. Coach, where are you located? I'm, um, either Las Vegas, Nevada, or Monmouth County, New Jersey. Designed by David. What's up, David? Good to see you, man. The online program has me looking insane. I love it. David, bro, I love it. Dude, I want to see it, man. Send me uh, either set on Instagram. Send me a DM. I want to see before and afters. Or send it to Gabby, G-A-B-Y at thedolcheday.com. I want to see it. I want to know it. I want to applaud your victory. If anybody has before and afters, send them to me. Brag to me. I want to see it. And with your approval, I will even post it so the community can see it. You can help change the lives of other people. I'll make you famous. They didn't make you instant famous. Right? David, super happy to hear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is time. Click the links below, by the way. Dolce Coffee Roasters. Do you want organic Craft roasted specialty coffee delivered to your door. Dolce Coffee Roasters, we are the team. We are the company. We actually have three family farms in the mountains of Peru that handpick their beans from their soil, multi-generational, pack them, ship them. We roast them immediately, and we ship them out next day to members of our Roasters Club coffee subscription. Now, you can buy a single bag, of course, not a problem, all day long, or you can save some cash and you can become a member of our subscription club. Get a bag a month, two bags a month. You can gift it to someone else. And also, the four finger, 14 ounce, when this is like cold outside, look at that. When it's cold outside, this mug is curved like a lady's waist. And you can put your hands around it and it's so warm. I'll sit there like out on my back deck in the snow with a hot cup of coffee in the morning, getting some vitamin D on my face. And I'll just hold this mug in my hand. It is incredible. I'll drink it typically like this. But anyway, DolceCoffeeRoasters.com. I mean, check it out. It's, it's small family, right? Our love of coffee is what launched Dolce Coffee Roasters, we found the most pristine, 
organic beans that suit our, I mean, super snobby quality standards. I'm not putting anything in my body or in my family's body that is not 100% organic and pristine. We found those beans and we said, you know what? We should probably share these to some members of our community. You don't often hear me promote it, but it's gone so well that we started running out, running out, running out. So we enhanced, we, we, we grew the team a little bit. We have a little more capacity to bring on some more customers, more clients. I dramatically su suggest the subscription service. So you're guaranteed. Everyone who's a subscriber to the, the Roasters Club, you are guaranteed your bags. And then if we have bags left over, that's where everybody gets their other bags. And you'll know because you won't be able to buy it if, if there's no bags available. Say no bags available. Well, you know, come back on the first of the month or the fifteenth or whatever it is. But uh, th there you go. That's it. And click the link below. Three weeks to shred it. Also, if you want to get in touch with me, Gabby G A B B Y at the Dolce Diet dot com. Anything I can do to help you guys, I am always in your corner. Happy to help. And until next time, boom.